We begin tonight in New Jersey with a back and forth between Governor Murphy and Republican challenger Jack Cittarelli as they faced off for the first time on the debate stage. The governor is trying to become the first Democrat to win a second term in the state in more than four decades. CBS 2's Jessica Layton joins us from Newark with more. In many ways, the COVID crisis headlined the first debate between Governor Phil Murphy and challenger Jack Cittarelli. You can't look for wiggle room on vaccines in your body, your choice. You can't ignore the science as it relates to masking. I encourage people to get vaccinated. Do I believe that government has a right to tell people they have to take a medicine? No, I don't. And there were plenty of moments when the tone wasn't productive on either side. We're still digging out of the damage that, that Trump did in terms of masking and making it political. If those watching at home are playing that drinking game where you gotta take a shot every time you hear Trump, I suggest they stop real soon because they're gonna be bombed real soon. The audience at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center also witnessed a stark disagreement over when sex education and LGBTQ education should begin. I believe there are certain subject matter for our younger students, K through eight, that are best left at a kitchen table. A lot going on at your kitchen table. <laughs> The businessman and former assemblyman Cittarelli took the governor to task on New Jersey residents spending some of the highest in the nation on property taxes. He slammed the governor's response to Ida a few weeks ago and the number of deaths in nursing homes during the pandemic. There was also serious discussion on systemic racism. The media tried to clarify Cittarelli's controversial stance in the spin room after the debate. I don't believe we should be teaching students that white people perpetuate systemic racism or that the white student is the oppressor or the black and brown student is the, uh, the oppressed. When pressed to say something nice about the other, Murphy said Cittarelli is a good husband and father. Cittarelli, who does not believe in mandating vaccines, gave Murphy kudos for allowing teachers to test out instead of getting the shot. Why still give teachers the option to do the testing instead they of the mandatory vaccination? We want them to get vaccinated, but the testing uh, additional wrinkle is we think along with masks is a package that makes our schools but, safe. Uh, you, I'm, I'm good. Right there, I was trying to ask an important follow up to a question that is sure to be on the minds of parents as they head to the polls this November. The governor's office said they would get me a more substantial answer sometime today. Also, I asked both candidates who won the debate. Cittarelli said that's up to the people of New Jersey. Governor Murphy said there's no question. It was yours truly. Reporting from Newark, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.